I know that our actions to end violence against women and girls and gender-based violence most broadly do not start or stop with the end of the 16 days campaign. This is only one step among the many actions we have taken and will continue to take together to make all duty stations in Kenya and the region safer for all personnel. The surge in violence against women and girls that has surfaced during the COVID-19 pandemic affects us all, whether at home, in public spaces, online, or in our own places of work, we cannot ignore this shadow pandemic any longer. The problem of gender-based violence knows neither race, age, creed, location, nor status. It happens all around us and transcends all levels of society. We must do our best to ensure a safe space for victims to come forward and speak out. There is no shame or blame in asking for help. As I have mentioned a couple of times, I have been a victim myself, and I know the pain, anger, indignity, and feeling of despair when you're going through this. Most importantly is the shame to let people know that you are a victim. My advice is there is nothing to be ashamed of. By talking about it and seeking help, you can transfer the shame to the perpetrator. By keeping silence, you're strengthening them and allowing them to continue to have power over you. WHO's estimates of the prevalence of violence against women worldwide highlight that nearly one in every three women over 15 have experienced physical and or sexual violence during their lifetime from a male partner or someone else. Across Sub-Saharan Africa, Available data shows that an estimated one in five women have experienced intimate partner violence in the preceding 12 months. I believe that as the UN as a leader in the system, the message of zero tolerance for violence at the workplace and elsewhere has to start from the top by creating an environment where there is zero tolerance for violence. Over the past year, this is the spirit in which the UN family collaborated under the leadership of UN Habitat to develop and launch the Speak Up mobile application as a resource for all personnel to use if they need support or guardians to support others experiencing violence. As we continue the process of returning in person to the UN office in Nairobi and other duty stations, we must reinforce our commitment to zero tolerance of any form of gender-based violence perpetrated by UN personnel, including sexual harassment and sexual exploitation and abuse. I call upon all personnel, and especially those in management and leadership roles, to step into action to transform the silence around violence into solidarity for survivors and speaking out for a UN where all personnel and partners can enjoy their rights to their fullest. I would like to reiterate my commitment to ensuring that all personnel and partners are safe in the UN in Kenya. Thank you.